Hey, shalom, brothers and sisters. Welcome back. I thank you again for joining me. Uh, today, I want to do an introduction on the book of Galatians. You know, in the New Testament, New Galatians, this be an introduction, of course. Uh, and I encourage you uh, for, you know, Bible study, just uh, study through it. You know, like, you know, it's not very, it's not very long or anything. I mean, just, it's going out, what, uh, six, six chapters in it. Uh, but anyways, I'm going to read read some information about it, you know, for, for you beginners out there and everything. And uh, here we go. Okay. The composition date. It's a wide, it's a wide debate as to when the book of Galatians was written. The proposed dates range from 45 to 60 CE, the common era. And the author was uh, the Apost apostle Paul wrote the book of Galatians as noted in uh, chapter one, verse one. Except for a few modern critics, this view is nearly universally accepted. His name comes from the Greek Paulos and means little. His Hebrew name is Saul or Shaw, meaning asked. Uh, here's the background. This book was written to the assembly at Galatia. Its name comes from the people who lived there, formerly Gauls, who migrated to Northwest Europe. And that's uh, sort of like present-day France now. You know, you had the Franks and you had the Gauls, so you got France. The people who made up the various tribes were called Galli by the Romans and Galatia, or the Celtoi, by the Greeks. Terms meaning barbarian. Interesting, isn't it? Barbarian. It is from Kelto Keltotia, Keltota, or Keltotai. Uh, that Celt is derived. They practiced the Celtic religion with the Druids at their uh, high as their high priest. You know the Celts of you know uh, England right there. You know British Isles and I Ireland too. Yeah, I mean, but uh, in addition to this pagan influence, Paul battled Phar Pharisee Jews who insisted that salvation could not be achieved only through the Old Testament. That could be achieved only through the Old Testament sacrificial system. Consequently, not only did Paul have the challenge of convincing pagan people to evangel or good news of Yeshua Messiah, but he did so in an environment of hostility from his rival Jews. It is for this reason the narrative often changes in Galatians from teaching justification apart from law to uh, abstaining from pagan days, months, and times practiced by the transplanted Gauls. And here's the significance of it right here. While there are several important themes to this book, perhaps the most crucial is a correct understanding of justification apart from works. Justif justification is not awarded or earned based on works or obedience. If this were the case, the Messiah would be of no profit. Uh, five... Uh, Chapter 5, verse 2. However, it's equally important to realize that the law is not against the promise of the Messiah. Chapter 3, verse 21. The purpose of faith and justification is to bring us to a state of sanctification, a life set apart through obedience to Yahweh's laws and commandments. You know, uh, for additional explanation, see commentaries on uh, 3... Uh, verses 24 to 25. Uh, but uh, anyways, yeah, that's uh, that's the whole setup about Galatians. And uh, Galatians is a good book. You know, Galatians, out of the whole thing, Galatians 2.20 is actually my, 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 my favorite scripture. I mean, there's so many in there, inspiring. But it's my favorite scripture, and I could read it to you here. Uh, I'll go right, uh, where is that at? It's uh, chapter 2, 2.20. I am, I am impaled with Messiah. Nevertheless, I live, yet not I, but the Messiah liveth in me. And the life which I now live in the flesh, I live by the faith of the Son of Yahweh, who loved me and gave Himself for me. That's one twenty. And here's twenty one. I do not frustrate the grace of Elohim, for if righteousness come by the law, then Messiah is dead in vain. So. That's said and done, lock, stock, and barrel is what they would say, but that's what uh, that's what Galatians, Galatians is. It's a little information for you beginners out there, and I encourage you to 
study study that you know just put a footnote down in your mind or in your bible you know check that out and everything and i thank you again for joining me as always and also please give me a big thumbs up and hit that notification bell and also i appreciate if you subscribe watch my other videos by the way and i got more coming here and there whenever but uh thank you again for joining me till we meet again peace out and shalom